I was inspired by, um, like primarily by um, the kind of what you might call the surge of smash and grab robberies um, that had been taking place in London, you know, in the last few years. And as a very sort of brief synopsis, it's about two brothers who, um, who are both kind of like modern day outlaws in their own right, if you, if you like. One is more of a sort of philosophical type outlaw and the other one is a criminal outlaw. And the criminal is a smash and grab robber and the, um, the other brother is, um, he, he's a graffiti artist, he's a little bit of a kind of anarchist if you like. And it's about their, um, it's about their lives together really and you know how uh, the artist brother kind of moves away, does a few other things and, uh, and how the criminal brother kind of gets him involved in some stuff a bit later on. So. I mean, obviously, films that tackle that side of society, those kind of outsiders, are often accused of either demonising or glamorising that world. Um, how keen were you to avoid falling into either of those two extremes? Well, I really wanted to... Firstly, I didn't want to kind of glamorise or, or even romanticise, you know, the, um, uh, the criminal gangs in the film, you know? I just thought it was really, really important not to. Uh, this, you know, uh, and I'd, but at the same time, I didn't want to judge them either, you know? And... So yeah, it was very important just to to, to create a piece whereby um, we could hopefully got a little view into their world, but and and that, that they're rounded off characters and, and and they feel quite human, but really to let the viewers decide, you know, um, more like that really, um, all as a piece of entertainment at the same time, you know. So uh, the cast is led by um, Greg Sulkin. And, um, and Josh Myers, they play the two brothers. And either side of them, there's um, Meghan Markle, who uh, plays in a, in a show called Suits on television. Um, Skepta, who's, um, who's a musician. Um, Richie Campbell, uh, another actor. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a whole bunch of people, you know, so um, it would take me a long time to run for everybody. We're talking about 20 cast members, so, you know, yeah. I just really hope they enjoy it, you know. Um, uh, but moreover than that, I think I'd like them to come away thinking, um, believing, feeling that it was quite an authentic and original uh, take on, on this kind of genre, you know. I'm Lisa Moorish and I play a character called Layla. This is fantastic to have you at night. Can you tell us a little bit more about Layla, where she fits into the story? Absolutely. Um, I think Layla is a bridge for the character D, played by uh, Greg Zolkin, from a very sort of difficult world uh, into something different, an opportunity for him to escape the restraints of where he comes from. What was it about the role that interested you? Uh, I, I was just saying, actually, I think at the moment I feel very much in the, what's going on in, in Britain with the, the politics and everything and the, and the world we live in now is very much elitist type films are reflecting a certain uh, part of society. And I don't think there's many films at the moment reflecting this side of, of the country. So that really attracted to me, this film. I want to be part of that as far as art and films concerned. I, I couldn't have a better experience. I mean, this, uh, this is my first feature. It's a new career for me. Uh, and he's one of the most patient, incredible, generous directors that you could wish to work for. So for me, it was absolutely a dream. Of course, the British crime thriller is a massive genre. What do you think makes this film perhaps stand out from the crowd in that sense? Well, like I just said, going back to the fact that at the moment, a lot of, I don't think there's many actors even from that kind of background that get a chance to, to, to perform in films like this. I don't think there are enough films being made like this, reflecting that part of society. So I think that's what's special about it at this moment in time. It's important. Of course, I think, like you say, films that tackle that side of society often get accused of either demonising or glamorising it. Um, where do you think this film falls on that scale? I don't think Reg tried to... I think it's important. I don't think he tried... He really didn't try to glamorise it. Um, and I think he, it, it showed that thing, I suppose, D, especially the central character, of somebody, how hard it is, actually. And sometimes it's a stroke of luck. You get lucky. There's many talented, amazing people from that world that will never be seen or heard of. But D happens to have that lucky moment with Layla where he meets the right person at the right time. Hi, I'm Caroline Ford and I play the character of Rochelle in Antisocial. Rochelle is the, the tough girl in the film. She's, a, she's an independent woman. She knows how to handle herself. It's, um, she is a strong girl in a like, predominantly male world and she, she deals with it pretty well. 
she um, she stirs things up a bit, but not not on purpose. Just like kind of to get by. She's a really she's a really cool girl, <laughs> and um, yeah, I really like playing her. That's quite an analogy for working in the film industry as well. Can you talk a little bit about if there were particular inspirations you drew on for that element of the character? I mean, absolutely. That's very true. And I think you have to to kind of speak up and, and make yourself heard in this industry. And it's a little bit harder. And there are less strong female roles. As there are, like, strong male roles. You know, they're everywhere. So I think that was another reason why it's, it was really great to be able to play someone like Rochelle because it's not that often that you get just a tough, strong female character that's, that's on her own. You know, she's not there to kind of, like, make a man's story. She's there as her, own, as her own person, doing her own thing, kind of, yeah, stirring the story up by herself. So it was, it was cool to play, to play a female character like that. And it's, yeah. Reg is awesome. Reg is great. Uh, especially because he wrote the film, he knows so much about it and he was so invested in it and he loves all the characters and he's the nicest director um, and he really like helped us um, kind of figure out our roles and, and what we were going to do with them and um, the character kind of grew as we were doing it and we got to kind of discuss it together and create them together which was really, really fun um, and he lets you just play and just, you know, do your thing and so I think that, that he'll have created something, something really special. The rest of the cast were hilarious. Um, there was a lot of time when it was just me and like a bunch of a bunch of men, <laughs> and they were so fun. Um, they, you know, we we had a great time. We we're in Budapest. We, I mean, everyone's so talented as well, which I think I learned a lot during this film. Um, I got to to do a lot of scenes with Rich Campbell, who's who's brilliant. Um, it made me like step up my game a bit. Um, and Greg and Josh and Amy, everyone was was so right for their roles. I think I think that's something that you'll see in the film. Like everyone is is just perfect for their characters, and they bring out really cool individual weird things for their roles. And yeah, so it was a gr like a great experience. And I think I learned a lot. I think it's different because it's it's not just a film about the crime world. It's not just a film that, it, not, it doesn't necessarily like glamorize that world. It just shows it. Um, and it shows it within like where it came from, kind of the world it comes from, um, which I think is quite different. And it also kind of juxtaposes it with the, the kind of middle class modeling world that, that Megan comes from and the art world that, um, you know, that Greg's character is going into. It, so I think that juxtaposition makes it quite different because it kind of merges the two worlds. Um, so it's not just about the, the crime, it's very much about the people doing the crime, <laughs> which, which is quite different and I think really interesting. Um, at the moment I did a film called, called Still um, with Aidan Gillen, which is really dark, really brilliant, and that's coming out in a few weeks, so that's cool. Other than that, um, yeah, just <laughs> waiting for the next thing to come along. <laughs> Tell us who you play in Still, the one with Aiden. I do. I play a very different character to this one. I play um, a character called Susanna Tiama. She's a, an American um, East London art gallery owner, and she's um, it's a very it's a very gritty, dark, beautiful film. But she kind of brings the lightness to it. So she's she's like a lovely, loving, light character. I'm sure, there's a lot of uh, ladies out there who'd love to know what's Aiden like. But what's Aiden like? <laughs> Aiden, Aiden is just brilliant I think is the main word he I mean he makes you better I, th I think he's lovely as well and very handsome in real life <laughs> hello I'm Sophie Cahoon I play Emma who is Marcus's girlfriend in the film Antisocial um, she's pretty feisty she's um, a tough nut and she goes through a hell of a lot. Um, she's an awesome character to play. She's every actor's dream. I mean, she goes through some situations which um, 
are at the basis of what humanity is about, essentially. Uh, she is part of circumstances which are more or less animalistic um, and which are very real today and very prevalent today in society. Um, and uh, it's something that is tough to be part of as a woman and it's tough to play as an actor but I think it's important I don't think it's something that should be hidden or um, it's very tough to watch don't get me wrong but um, it's um, it needs to be talked about I mean I haven't been through that situation myself and I hope to God I never would um, so placing myself in that situation is always going to be difficult um, I didn't want to go uh, down the route of talking to people who had been through that situation. So it has come all through my imagination. Um, and I just, I hope I'm recreating a situation which is not easy to watch because it never ever should be. Um, and my heart goes out to every woman that's ever been in that position. There wasn't a single doubt that ran through my mind. Reg is a fantastic director. Um, he's very sensitive to actors, uh, very sensitive to the situation at hand. Um, and I didn't have a single issue with doing it with him. Um, he was fantastic. He knew what he was trying to get out of the scene. And um, I think we approached it in, in as humane way as we possibly could. I think it's got a bit of everything in it um, and I hope people will find that about it. Um, it's a really high paced crime thriller um, but predominantly underneath the, the sort of action scenes it's, it's a film about relationships which transcends any class, any culture, any society um, and it's essentially what we're all on this planet to be part of is the relationships that we hold. What's great about being an actor is that you come across people that perhaps you'd, you'd never meet in otherwise. Um, and you, obviously every project is different. So this cast is absolutely fantastic. Um, they were so supportive and so kind and so generous to work with, um, which is always such a joy for an actor. So, um, <laughs> juxtaposing this, I'm also in a show called The Royals, um, where I play a very aristocratic diamond heiress called Gemma, uh, which is out at the moment on E, um, which was absolutely fantastic. It's a fictitious uh, take on uh, the British monarchy, and it's a joy. Andrew Shiv, and I play the character Jason. Can you tell us a bit about where he fits into the film? Uh, he's basically, he's uh, Dee's best friend in it and um, Dee's right hand man. Um, he's, uh, I, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't want to say he's Dee's Joey. You know, he, he's he's kind of like his hype man. He built, he like hypes up his uh, graffiti work and stuff like that. And um, it's just a very real loyal, loyal character, loyal, um, loyal friend to Dee. And uh, is a good graffiti artist himself. A bit of a bit of a live wire, to be honest. Likes his motorbikes and just loves uh, living life on the edge. To be honest, what excited me is motorbikes. Were a part of it was because I, I love my bikes. And I, I knew that I'd get to ride uh, ride motorbikes in it. Um, and uh, but also, what what excited me about this script is uh, I actually, you know, um, heard a lot and read a lot about these robberies that happen. Uh, when they were happening back in the day uh, and obviously I've worked with Reg before I know that what he can do uh, as, a, as a director is you know second to none so I knew that it was going to be a good film and uh, as, soon, as soon as he called me, called me about it I jumped straight to the chance what kind of like sets Reg apart from most of the rest of the directors that I've worked with is uh, the fact that he he gives you quite a lot of well, it gives me a lot of freedom with the character. I think that's because he knows that's how I've worked previously a lot with Shane Meadows. He lets me improvise a lot, 
and stuff like that. And he has a lot of trust in in um, in me, so he, he gives me a lot of freedom to be able to kind of do what I want. Also means I'd have to learn my lines either, which is great. I'm Rob Knighton and I'm playing Tim Regan. Rob, it's fantastic to have you here at the premiere. Are you excited for tonight? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Can you tell us a bit more about your character in the film? Because he's a bit of a nasty piece of work, isn't he? Well, what it is, he doesn't do anything nasty, but what he does is the crime boss. And when the boys get in trouble, they come to the boss to get a new job. And uh, I set him up with the job. Um, You'll have to watch the film, see what happens. Why do you think people are so captivated by this world? I don't know. I mean, it, when it's done well, I mean, it's exciting. You know, there's a, a lot of action. Um, it's that uh, mystery type of people, you know, that people quite aspire to sometimes. I don't know. As soon as I got saw the script, I mean, um, it's a nice... Um, it's a different take. I mean, especially if it's based on a true story or there's inspiration from a true story. Um, that, I found that interesting. Um, and also it was great to work with uh, Reg. I mean, Reg is, you know, a true professional as a director. Well, I like the way he's got, you know he's got something in his mind that he wants and it's really concise and he really will work to get that. You know, even, even the script we stuck to quite rigidly. Um, um, which is not always the case, but that's what Reg likes to do, and that's how it worked. I've just um, I've just shot with Guy Ritchie for his new movie, King Arthur. Um, we shot that last week, and uh, two months' time in June, I've got a release of a film called Everyone's Going to Die, where I play lead. Um, and I'm so proud of it. We've been all around the world at the festivals. Um, it's won awards. I got an uh, award for my performance at Dinar. Um, so that's, yeah, get quite busy times. My name's Devlin. I play Nicky in the film Antisocial. And I'm here, man. I'm here to have a chat. Can you tell us a bit more about Nicky, your character? He's a bit of a loose cannon. You know what I mean? He does some naughty things. It was a lot of fun to play that character. You know what I mean? What was it about the script overall, the project, that made you want to be a part of it? I just, I read through the script and I thought, do you know what? I, I like the sound of that. Reg Travis and that, they give me a big opportunity and I couldn't turn it down. Can't turn down opportunities, you know? So, really enjoy myself, look. What's Reg like to work with as a director? Uh, he's a good man. As I said, he gave me a massive opportunity. He's one of the nicest people you ever meet and uh, hard working, he's creative. Just a good man. I can't say, I can't say nothing bad about the fella, you know? He gave me a big opportunity. I think it's a... Uh, it's current affairs, isn't it? It's true, it happens, you know what I mean? And uh, people are always going to be excited by danger. It goes back, goes back years, you know what I mean? People want to see what's happening. And as I was saying the other week, that robbery that happened the other week, the big one, and it's relevant, man. It's relevant. What are you moving on to next? What have you got on the go at the moment? Uh, at the moment, I've got a song called 50 Grand on the radio with Skepta. We're going to shoot a music video for that, and then we'll, we'll bring the tune out. We'll have a couple more singles, bring an album out, and so it's going to be a busy year, man. For people who haven't caught that track yet, um, what's it about? What's the title? What, can you tell us a little bit about that one? 50 Grand, basically. I listen to, I can't call it rap no more, this new hip-hop and everyone, I've got a million pound, I've got a bird, I've got a car, I've got a Lamborghini and I'm the opposite of that, so we're just taking it back, listen, you know what I mean? Taking it back to where it should be. i am known Skepta for years and uh, when we done this film together, we said we've got to do something, we ain't never done a song together. So we got back, I wrote 50 Grand, I thought it would suit him down to a T, you know what I mean? And uh, he nursed it, man. He came on the track, smashed it. Tune was good, and he's, a, he's good stuff, Skepta, you know what I mean? So it's just a pleasure, really, to work with good people, all in all. Can you tell us a little bit about how excited you are for tonight's premiere? How are you feeling about it? I'm forward to it, man. I feel like, uh, yeah, I've always put stuff out, like done music, put it out, so today is going to be like a, my first test of like how good I was as an actor in a proper film. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Is acting something you've always had on the back burner, something you've always wanted to do? Well, because of my music videos, I feel like I've always acted in the type in a way, but like, it's not, I haven't done a film before, so it was definitely something in my mind that I thought would come to me, but I just was waiting for the right role, and I feel this is perfect. Why was this one perfect? What was it about the role that excited you? Because it's real, the, the film's a real true representation of like British culture, the underworld, whether it's Essex type gangster or like street hood gangster. You know, it's all, it's all in the movie, it's just done really well. Tells the truth. People always want to talk about glamorising and what it's, uh, or whatever, like that. Art gets made 
from experiences. So nobody would be making a film about the streets if there was no streets. You know what I'm saying? There, there ain't a film about there ain't a film about uh, purple pigs walking on the road because there aren't purple pigs walking on the road. Like there's there's things really happen on the underworld, and that's why. So if people want to call it glamorizing, it's probably because they're just too scared to check it out and really know what it's about. They're just scared and like I don't care about it. Uh, Reg is a legend. Reg is one of the, um, as quiet as he is, he's one of the most passionate people that I've ever met. He's very in his own mind. He taught me a lot about being in your own world and about doing your thing. You know, you could be on a set with Reg trying to say a million things in his ears and he's only trying to do what he is trying to do. And, um, you know, I'm, I, was, I was happy and comfortable to be in, put, to put my career like in, in his hands because I knew that he was going to look after us and do it properly. I'm sure fans will want to know, have you got more film projects in mind and more music on the way? Um, not at the moment, I couldn't say about any film stuff. Right now I'm concentrating on my album, Konnichiwa, which is going to be out this year. And um, yeah, I'm just enjoying touring and stuff now. This is a different experience for me, so I'm going to go and um, enjoy this, take what I can from it, and maybe in the future when I get another film role, like, I'll, I'll be able to be better and improve. Fans can't wait for the album to drop. What can they expect? Fire. <laughs>